Shalom, shalom, and greetings from Teshua Community. I'm Ima Raphael, and I have a message for only the daughters of Zion. I don't come to teach to the men, I only teach the daughters of to Zion. Rarek has given me a message to bring to you daughters today, and I pray that it be a blessing to you all. I've been young and now I'm old, and my purpose in this walk is to please Almighty Yah. You say, well, have you ever fallen? Well, sure I have. But once you fall, do you stay there or do you get up? I've gotten up and I've applied my heart to please Almighty Yah. So this day I come to you with scripture, not my will, but Yah's will be done. Hallelujah. So the first scripture I'd like to read to you today, daughters, is coming from Psalms, to Helium 119. And let me start reading with, at verse 1. It says, Barak are the undefiled in the way, who walk in the Torah of Yahweh. Barak are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole land. Daughters, when you come to the knowledge of this truth, you must seek Yah with your whole land. You must cast out everything that's about you that it may only exalt Yahshua HaMashiach. I want to go to verse 73. It says, Yah, your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. The only way we're going to understand Almighty Yah, we must cast out everything that is about us. And we must follow the Torah completely. Yah sent his son Yahshua HaMashiach to fulfill this book. And you know, people will say, well, it's the name of Jesus that I was saved. No, you came to the understanding just a bit of this truth. You heard that name. But can I tell you from the beginning, Yah knew what day he was going to call you. Yah knew in the beginning, before you were ever formed in your mother's womb, he was going to call you. You may walk in that name of Jesus, but once you come to the understanding of Almighty Yah and Yahshua HaMashiach, you will cast all that to the side. And can I tell you, daughters, in the Congress building in, in Washington, D.C., there is a book, you call it the Bible, but it is the Torah. The 1611, the name of Almighty Yah is there. It has not been done away with. So you can hold on to that falseness if you want to, but we must come to the knowledge of this truth that we may be made free. Hallelujah. So today, daughters, I want us to consider the apple of Yah's eye. And once you consider that, you say, well, am I the apple of Yah's eye? Well, if you are the apple of Yah's eye, is Yah the apple of your eye? Consider that. We must learn wisdom. And by learning wisdom, it comes with an experience with Almighty Yah. I want to start with Proverbs chapter 7, verse 1. My son my daughter. Keep my word and lay up my commandments with you. Verse 2. Keep my commandments and live and my Torah as the apple of your eye. So y'all tells us what we must do in order to be the apple of his eye. We must keep the commandments. As Yahshua has come to fulfill, not to do away with, he came to fulfill this book from the beginning of Genesis to the end of Revelation. We must keep the commandments of Almighty Yah. You can't keep your mama's ways. You can't keep your daddy's ways, your grandma, your grandfather. But we must keep the commandment of Almighty Yah. And as we hear this truth, as we hear it, we must become obedient to this truth. That it may fashion your mind and your heart. This is where your heart is here. It's where you do all your thinking and your processing and what you're going to do and what you're not going to do. But the heart of Almighty Yah must be here. And we're examining ourselves every day. Every day we must examine ourselves. 
And every day we must say, not my will, Yah, but your will be done in me. Hallelujah. Verse 3. It says, bind them on your finger. Hallelujah. As we bind the commandments of Yah on our fingers. Hallelujah. That means that we're going to only do what pleases Almighty Yah. And can I tell you, daughters, once you understand that you're not walking in truth, Yah has made you free. So who Yah makes free is free indeed. When you're free, free from the world and the cares of the world, not wanting to look like the world, you're free indeed. Hallelujah. Yah bringing us even to a place like this in a community setting. You can, we encourage each other, we strengthen each other by obeying his truth. Hallelujah. So the word daughter, the daughter meaning girl, the Hebrew term, Girl, adopted daughter, daughter-in-law, sister, granddaughter, female, child, cousin, is still a daughter. And we must practice this Torah living. Daughter used in the same wise sense as other terms of relationship, literally, figuratively, meaning the apple of Yah's eye. Hallelujah. So the title of this teaching today is the true daughter, the apple of Yahweh's eye. The great things Yah has done for Israel, Yahel, consider. And we must consider that Yaakov was the apple of Yah's eye. I want to go to Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 7. It says, remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father. And Yah will show you your elders, and they will tell you. And you know, I used to hear my mother say all the time, there's nothing new under the sun, and there isn't. Things just repeat themselves over and over again. There's no new dance, there's no new truth, there's only one truth. And that is keeping the commandments of Almighty Yah. Verse 8. It says, when the most Kodash high divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of man, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For Yahweh's portion is his people. Yaakov is the lot of his inheritance. So as Yah has a people, he will give them their portion when you do that which is righteous. And Yah has a people that keeps his Torah, keeping, keeping his commandments, and that strives every day to be obedient according to this Torah. Verse 9. For Yahweh's portion is his people, Yaakov is the lot of his inheritance. Verse 10. He found him in a desert place and in a waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed Yaakov. Yahweh kept Yaakov as the apple of his eye. Yaakov set his heart to please Almighty Yah. He wandered in the wilderness and he was determined to be obedient. He was not going to marry a woman that did not keep the Torah truth. He wanted a wife that was going to be obedient and that was going to be a strength unto him. Hallelujah. This is the same reference Yahweh identified the true daughters of to Zion. This is the same example that we may be the apple of his eye. Hallelujah. Let me go back to Proverbs. And I want to start again at verse 7, verse, chapter 7, verse 1. My son, my daughter, Keep my words and lay up my commandments with you. Verse 2. It says, keep my commandments and live. And my Torah as the apple of your eye. If we just consider Yah being the apple of our eye, we would not sin so willingly. We would just not take this so lightly. We would make ourselves an example. And as you make yourself an example that other daughters can see, 
and you're teaching it in your home, especially if you're a mother and you have children, you must instruct them in righteousness. You must set down the Torah law every day. You make time for Almighty Yah. And you instruct your children what's right. You don't take it lightly. As the messenger instruct us in what's right to do, never take it lightly. It is a personal thing. It is a personal walk with Almighty Yah. No, I don't have children, but yet I have children. In this place, I have children. I'm an example to my daughters. I want them to see the light of Yahshua in my life. Not my will, but I want them to see the will of Almighty Yah. What other purpose is that? His hands has fashioned me. They have made me. So as I let it fashion and make me, then my will is not my will. It's Yah's will. Hallelujah. It says, bind them upon your fingers. Write them upon the table of your heart. This is the heart. Hallelujah. It's the pinnacle where Yahshua HaMashiach must sit. We must follow the instructions of Almighty Yah being the daughters of Tazania. I want to be a strength to you daughters. You that hear me on YouTube, I want to make a personal, personal touch in your life today. And I want you to see the light of Yeshua in me. No, I'm not greater than Almighty Yah. He is the head of my life. I've seen the example in this place, even with our messengers. I've seen how Yah has blessed me. When you hear the messenger and you, you take it personally you, and you let that saturate you, you will, you, will, you will walk an excellent walk before Almighty Yah. So it's not about me, but it's about me doing that which is pleasing before Almighty Yah. Proverbs 7 and 4. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding. You're a kinswoman. When you have wisdom daughters, it's an experience with Almighty Yah. When you have understanding, it comes from your obedience. Your obedience to the Torah truth. Verse 5. It says that they may keep you from the strange woman, from the stranger which have flattering lips or flattering words. Daughters, when you walk in truth, there will, you will experience those that are unbelieving. And they will try to flatter you and tell you it doesn't take all that. It takes that and more. The lazy woman don't hear her words. The woman that has the unruly children, you can't hear from her. You must hear from those that have an understanding. You must hear from those that have wisdom and that you can see the light of Yahshua in their lives. Hallelujah. Yahweh honors that type of woman that type of daughter. It is very important that we know who our head is. Our head is the man. The man that walks in truth, that's our head. Hallelujah. So when you have understand that the head, when you understand the head, then you know your place in your Shur HaMashiach. Let's go to Shurat, chapter 17, verse 21. It said, but Yahweh being kind, and benevolence, and knowing his workmanship, neither left nor forsook them, but he spared them. Even daughter, when you fall, when you fall, Yah knows your heart. Yah will lift you up, and he will give you strength to press on. And you won't go that way again. Hallelujah. That's when you're truly striving every day to please Yah. You can't hit and miss. It must be a continuous walk before Almighty Yah. A continuous purging yourself. Every day you must purge yourself from your evil thoughts. The way you think. Sometimes you think, well, I can just say what I want. You can't say what you want when you're walking in truth. You govern your words, your thoughts, and you strive to please Almighty Yahweh. Man's arm giving is like a signet with Yahweh. He will keep a person's kindness like the apple of his eye and give repentance to his sons and to his daughters. When you truly are a giver, when you truly work willingly with your hands, Yah honors that. 
And can I tell you, your basket will never go empty. You will always have more than enough, and you will always be able to give to others. But when you are stingy and, and think it's all about you, and never willing to go out of your, get out of your comfort zone to help anyone, y'all, he sees that too. If you always walk around with your hand tight, and you're always worried about me, myself, and I, he sees that. But the, peak, the daughters of Tazania, you're always willing to assist and go out of your way to help. Yah will reward you. Chirac 17 and 23. It says, afterwards, he will arise and reward them. And he will bring them repentance unto their head. Yah will always bless those that are givers. You know, I've seen people that are givers. And there's none like them, hallelujah. And there's none that will, you, you understand that they have a giving heart and they're always there to help you. I love people like that. I do, I love daughters like that. Shirak 20, 17 and 24. But to those who repent, he grants, Yah will grant a return. And he encourages those who are failing and endurance and patience. When you fall, doors, but though you do have a repentance heart, when you fall and you truly shoot, Yah will grant you with strength. Yah will grant you with patience and endurance. He understands our makeup. He does. So when you truly have a repentance heart, when you say that will, can I tell you when I repent? I say that will never happen again. And can I, I strive with everything that is within me that I sin not against you. And if when you are like that, you understand that, and he will bless you with your faithfulness. Jeremiah Lamentations cries for the misery of the state of Jerusalem, commands the daughters to cry out for the nation in true prayer. You know, even as you look at the news, and you see the world is like it's just in a turmoil, where there's killing and drugs and wars and rumors of wars. Yah understands. And he knows when he has faithful daughters that know how to pray. We're in an hour where we truly need to pray and to cry out, help our nation, Yah. But we must also say, Yah, your will be done. But we must pray. Sincerely pray. No, you're not praying for your cousin and your sister. Say this. Say, Y'all, your will be done. Help me be an example to the other daughters of Tazaya. Let's go to Lamentation 2 and 17. Yah has done that which he has devised. He has fulfilled his word that he has commanded in the days of old. He has thrown down and has not pitied. He has caused your enemy to rejoice over you. He has set up the horn of your adversaries. So daughter, is Yah that does the killing? Is Yah that throws down? Is Yah that destroys? It's the hand of Almighty Yah. For Ha Satan has no power to do that. This is the will of Almighty Yah. But Yah wants his daughters of Zion to cry out, to pray, and don't get weary in praying. Don't get weary in well-doing. Open up the Torah in your home and give Yah told out for all that he does. Teach your children, your little ones. When your husband goes out to work, pray for him. Pray for your children, for the safety of your children. Even when you go outdoors, always be aware of your surroundings. And can I tell you, when you're aware of your surroundings, y'all will know you want to, will let you know when it's not safe. He will. Hallelujah. Lamentations 2 and 18. Their hearts cried to the sovereign Yahweh, O wall, O wall of the daughter of Zion. Let tears run down like a river day and night. Give yourself no rest. Let not the apple of your eyes cease. So, daughters, we must cry as never before. You know, we have prayer here at Tishua Community. We have prayer in the morning, 
and we have prayer in the evening. And when we go in, it's a time for the daughters to wail. We wail and we cry out unto Almighty Yah. Show your people kindness, Yah. Give us strength. Even when the hard times truly do come, he will give us strength to stand. We need to stand in this hour. It's not about the lust of your belly, daughters, but it's about us being faithful unto Almighty Yah. There are times that you should fashion. There are times that you should turn down your plate. You know those daughters that turn down their plates. Hallelujah. You know those daughters that are faithful in prayer. Like I say, it's not praying for your kids, but it's about praying for the body of Yeshua HaMashiach. Those that are walking in truth, those are the ones you should pray for. Hallelujah. Lamentations 2 and 19. It says, Arise, cry out in the night. In the beginning of the watches, pour out your heart like water before the face of sovereign Yahweh. Lift up your hands towards him for the nephesh of your young children that faint for hunger in the top of every street. We must teach and live this Torah life. Did you hear me, daughters? We must teach it. We must live it. We must cry out. We must pray without ceasing. You said, well, I want to be happy. Well, I'm happy that I know I've been made free. But you have to cry for those that are weak in this hour. We must cry for our messengers. Hallelujah. For the men that stand for truth, you must cry out for them. And you must get on your face before Almighty Yahweh for them. And you must let your light shine. We must show a discipline in this walk of Torah truth. And can I tell you, Doris, I know sometimes we think, when I first started walking this way, I was, only, I was worried about the outward man making sure I dressed right. But I, didn't, I wasn't concerned about the man here. Others must see that there's a discipline in you. So as I got, being in, in this set-apart life, I had to get this mind up here right. And I had to correct my ways and my doings in the way that I thought because it wasn't a righteous way. I'm worried about the other man when I should be worried about me. And my doing was right. Do you see the fruit of righteousness? Or do you see the fruit of rotten fruit, wickedness, and evil thoughts, surmising? And daughters, once I realized that I had to let, cast those things down, I understood the will of Almighty Yah. It says, Behold, O Yahweh, and consider to whom you have done this. Shall the woman eat their fruit, and the children of a span long? Shall the Kohan and the prophets be slain in the midst of us? Because we know not, doors, we don't know how to pray. Because we have not considered our way. We do things that are evil. Why don't you consider your ways? And you understand the will of Almighty God. You can shoot. And you will know how to pray. And what to pray for. Lamentations 2 and 21. The young and the old lie on the ground in the streets. My virgins and my young men are fallen by the sword in the streets. You have slain them in the day of your anger. You have killed and not pity. Can I tell y'all will kill? He will not pity us. When we know what's right to do and do it not, then it's accounted unto us as sin. We must strive daily to do that, do that which is right before Almighty Yah. I don't want to be slain in the street because of my wicked ways. Hallelujah. So as I have understood this truth, like I say, you must, before you get wisdom, there's an experience with Almighty Yah, and your understanding comes by your obedience. It's, I, I told you all for being in a place like this, because it keeps you in check every day. Hallelujah. And I want to be a strength to the daughters of Zion, and I want them to see the light of your Yeshua in me. Hallelujah. Lamentations 22. It says, you have called as in a solemn day. 
my terrors round about, so that in the day of Yahweh's anger, none shall escape, nor remain. Those that I have swaddled and brought up has my enemy consumed. So the enemy will consume you when you're not practicing what is righteous to do. You will always be confused when you don't practice Torah truth. Hallelujah. Deliver yourself, O Zion, another name for Yerusalem. Return to Yah's ways and not the doors of Babylon ways. Can I tell you, there are, there are ways of Babylon. And those are those that practice sin, daughters. Those are ones that heard the truth and decide that's too hard. Oh, I can't go that way. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I don't think y'all really means for us to do it that way. Well, yes, he does. He wants those that hear this truth to make a stand. We must make a stand, daughters, in this truth. No, it wasn't my mother's prayers that delivered me. It's Yah's choosing that delivered me. By me hearing this story, truth, it made me free. Because I knew that I was vile. I knew I was vile. My ways were vile. But Yah knew in time, and he knew the time that I would shoo and walk in this truth. So it's his truth that has made me free. It is his, his truth that has shaped my mind and set me apart. So when others see me, they say, well, where are you from? I am from beyond. Do you hear me? I'm just a pilgrim passing through. Hallelujah. I want to go to Zechariah chapter 2, verse 7. It's deliver yourself, O Zion, that dwell with the daughters of Babylon. If you're dwelling with the daughters of Babylon, you won't be delivered. You won't, because you're going to do it. The daughters of Babylon are those daughters that practice wickedness. They say that Yah is too hard. Oh, I can dress any way and go into the kingdom. Well, you can't. We must cover ourselves as the daughters of Zion. You know, I, there were, sometimes you hear women, that they want to come and visit, and they say, oh, I know how you dress. Well, then when they get here, they have their arms out or they're exposing their chest. That's not the way of the daughters of Zion. We must cover ourselves. You don't need to see my legs. You don't need to see my arms. You need to, I know you don't need to see my chest. So the way I'm dressed, I am covered before Almighty Yah. No, I didn't always know this. Why well, I had to learn this way. That's why we, being the daughters of Zion here, we strengthen each other. If a daughter's not dressed correctly, we tell them. Hallelujah. We encourage each other every day. He said, well, even in our speech, we encourage each other. When we're cooking, we encourage each other. When we're cleaning, we encourage each other because we want to be the apple of Yah's eye. Hallelujah. Zechariah 2 and 8. For this says Yahweh of hosts, after the splendor has he sent me to the nations which you spoiled, you plundered, for he that touches you touches the apple of my eye. So y'all say he does have a nation. He has a people that's going to keep his commandments. They're going to strive to do what's right because we want to be the apple of his eye. I want y'all to be the apple of my eye. I want to please him in everything that I do, daughters. We must consider our ways. Consider your way. You know, you just meet daughters and they say, well, I thought I could talk smart or my husband made me mad, so I'm going to say what I want. I won't talk to him. That's wrong. That's evil. Did you hear me? It's wrong. It's evil. We should practice to be quiet. We should let this talk. When we get into a funk like that, we, we should fall on our knees and say, Yah, slay me. Destroy everything that's not like you. Make me to be like you. I don't want to fail y'all in this world, daughters. I want to show that I can be willing and obedient, that I'll eat the tub of the land. I want to work willingly with my hands. Wherever I can assist, I want to assist. And you must be that way too, daughters. 
You must look at you and say, yeah, I know I can do better. There's nothing I can't do through Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. You know, my mother was here at one time, and she died here. And she would always tell me, there's nothing you can't do. She said, there's nothing new under the sun. And when she would say those things, I said, does she really mean that? And she meant that. My mother was a strength to me while she was here. She was only here for like four and a half years. But while she was here, she was faithful. She worked willingly with her hands. And every day she was faithful. And if she can do it, I know I can do it too. And daughters, if I can do it, you can do it too. So whatever you find your hands to do, do it with all your might. It's unto Almighty Yah. Zechariah 2 and 9. It says, For, behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. And you shall know that Yahweh of hosts has sent me. Verse 10. The elders of the daughters of Zion sit upon the ground, and keep silent. They have cast up dust upon their heads. They have girded themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Jerusalem hang down their heads to the ground. Daughters, this is no time for laughter, for being foolish. We must be serious in this hour. We must consider that Yah is going to revenge this world for all the evil that they have done. Let us examine our own selves. Let us strive daily to please Almighty Yah. Cast down your evil thoughts. Labor willingly with your hands. Give to those that are in need. You know, I do have a daughter here and she's a giver, she's a worker. She's on the other side of this camera and she has been faithful ever since she's come here. You say, well, have you corrected her? Well, sure I have. I could still correct her to this day. And it makes her excel even the more. And that's how we all should be. You know, you go to a place, you say, well, I know they're gonna wait on me, they're gonna feed me. But can I say something? If you know that, then when you come, you should always be willing to work. Well, I don't do dishes where you should do dishes. That's why I tell her I'm not leave. she will not leave me until the job is done. And that's how we all should be. Work willingly with your hands. You say, well, I'm going to be tired. Well, when you go home, you can lay down and rest. And there's always a rest for the people of Yah. Lamentations 2 and 11. It says, my eyes do fill with tears. My bowels are troubled. My liver is poured upon the earth for the destruction of the daughter of my people, because the children and the suckling swoon in the streets of the city. Verse 12, they say to their mothers, where is the corn and the wine? When they swoon with the wounded in the streets of the city, when the nephesh was poured out into their mother's bosom. Verse 13, what things shall I take to witness for you? What things shall I liken to you, O daughter of Jerusalem? What shall I equal to you that I may comfort you, O virgin daughter of Zion? For your breach, your ruin, your crashing is great like the sea. Who can heal you? The only one can heal us, daughter is Almighty Yah. That's our healer. And can I tell you, in your faithfulness, in your faithfulness, Yah will bring deliverance. Verse 14, your prophets have seen vain and foolish things for you. They have not discovered your iniquity to turn away your captivity but have seen for you false burdens and cause banquetment. Verse 15, all that pass by clap their hands at you. They hiss 
and wag their heads at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? The way the people see us, they're thinking that we're going through so much. Can I tell your daughter, I have shalom. I have shalom in Yeshua HaMashiach. I'm not going through anything. The world is going through anxiety and perplexity, but the people of to Zion, we know what our end shall be. So we can press past, and we continue to pray and to live a Torah life. Y'all will grant us strength. So when they look at us and wag their head, I have shalom. I am at peace. Hallelujah. Verse 16. All your enemies have opened their mouth against you. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say we have swallowed her up. Certainly there is the day that we look for. We have found. We have seen it. Verse 17. Yahweh has done that which he has devised. He has fulfilled his word that he has commanded in the days of old. He has thrown down and has not pitied. And he has caused your enemy to rejoice over you. He has set up the horn of your adversaries. Can I say daughters, hallelujah. Your enemies may shake their heads and they may hiss at you but stand strong, hallelujah. Stand in Yah's truth. Can I tell you, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or your seed out begging bread. So stand strong. Set a time every day in your home for prayer. Seek Almighty Yah with your whole land. Hear the messenger. Shoot from your evil ways. Let this Torah truth make you free. Let it make you free. Examine your own heart. See where you are in this truth. And say, not my will, Yah, but your will be done. Hallelujah. Because Yah will revenge everyone. He's, and can I tell you, he's not going to show you any pity. Once you've come to the knowledge of this truth, you must shoot. You can't say, well, it's too hard. The way of a transgressor is hard, but not the way of Almighty Yah. Verse 18. Their heart cried to Yahweh, O wall of the daughter of Zion, let tears run down like a river day and night. Give yourself no rest. Let not the apple of your eyes cease. So doors, if it takes crying morning, noon and night, let it not cease. Because you want to please the apple of your eye, Almighty Yah. He sent his son, Yeshua HaMashiach, to fulfill the volume of this book. And if he expect his son to do it, do you think that we shouldn't do it also? We're required to do the same. So if it means crying day and night, pray without ceasing, be obedient. Don't let, and the praising of Omar, yeah, let it continue to come from your mouth. Not a false pretense. Not doing it because others are seeing it. You do it because it's part of your life. When I get up in the morning, I give y'all toda. Not in the silence of my home, but I say toda y'all for allowing me to see another day that I can get it right before you. That I can be an example that other daughters can see. I want them to see the light of Yahshua in my life. I'm not ashamed of this walk. When I see my kinsmen, I, I want them to know, no, I don't live the way you live. No, I don't dress the way you dress. No, I'm not going to the family reunions. No, I don't. My home is with the people of Yah. This is my family. Yah has given me a new family. And I told her Yah for that. I told her Yah for that. The family that is striving to please Almighty Yah, this is the family that I want to be for me. I want to be a part of. Hallelujah. Lamentations 2 and 19. It says, Arise, cry out in the night. In the beginning of the watches, 
pour out your heart like water before the face of sovereign Yahweh. Lift up your hands towards him. Hallelujah, away to the Yah for the nephish of the young children that faint for hunger in the top of every street. Daughters, if you don't make time to teach your children, your little ones, I'm telling you the streets will claim them. Do you hear me? And you'll wonder, where did, where did I go wrong? Can I tell you where we all go wrong? We think that I don't have to instruct my children. Well, if you don't instruct them in Torah truth, who will? You must instruct your children in Torah truth. You know, as we have a school here, the Torah is part of our curriculum. Them learning scriptures, them studying the scriptures, them, they, that we tell our children they must take notes when they go into the Bay End so that you remember what the messenger taught and then you apply it to your lives. This is something that you must train your children to do. You don't just let them run wild. And you must be the example. You must say, well, I, I, yes, you. You must be the example that your children can see. If you don't walk this Torah truth, where are they going to get it from? Your children are with you more than they are with anyone. So they must first see it in you. Daughter of Zion, they must see it in you. They must see your faithfulness. They must see your praying in the home. They must see you're willing to labor. Can I tell you, no daughter that's lazy, no daughter's never on time for anything. No, your house, if your house is dirty, then your ruah, your spirit is dirty. Do you hear me? If, you, if your house is always unorganized, then that's how your spirit is. You have to make time. Daughters, listen to me. You must make time to set things in order. From the cleaning of the home to the praying, doing the dishes, cooking, everything must be in order in your lives. Y'all's looking for a disciplined people. You can think what you want. Y'all's not playing. Whatsoever man sow, he's going to reap it. So as you're learning the disciplines of all my, y'all call us the disciplined ones. So everything about you must be disciplined. If you need to help assist with something, you can't say, well, I'll get back with you. No, you must say, all right, sister, I'm there to assist and to help. That's why I told you all for this community life. I do. We've learned so much together. We've grown together. And my mother was not wrong when she said, there's nothing new under the sun. And you can do all things through your sure Hamashiach. Yes, daughters, I am. I am crippled. I'm getting older, and I feel it too. But I'm still faithful in what I can do. And I don't just sit down and watch other sisters labor. I am in here every day with the sisters, laboring with my hands. I may have to go and sit down for a moment or two, but I'm faithful. I've learned that from my shepherd. I've learned that from my shepherd, my ish, Rayak Dawi. Both of us are crippled but we're faithful in our labor in this community. I want y'all to be the apple of my eye. He is my strength, for with him I can do nothing, but in him I can do all things. Every day is a walk with y'all that we must cast down our evil works, the way we do things, and we need to be an example one to another. For y'all's hands have made me and fashioned me he will give me understanding that I may learn his commandments. And his commandments, if you break one, you're guilty of them all. Did you hear me, daughters? You can't break one of his commandments and say, well, you're guilty of them all. Don't call me an adulteress where you are. One of you broken one of the commandments, you're guilty of them all. So I told you, y'all, for being in a place like this, where I can let my light shine, even when I go out, I let my light shine. We went out about two weeks ago. We were in Sam's and this man comes up to me and he asked me, what country are you from? And he caught me off guard because most of the times I'll tell him I'm from beyond. But I told him I was from Jefferson, South Carolina. And he's looking at me like, really? Yes, I'm from Jefferson, South Carolina. 
I'm just passing through. But as I pass through, I'm going to let the light of Yeshua HaMashiach shine for me. So every day, we practice doing that which is righteous before Almighty Yahweh. I want you daughters, I want you to understand that in order to be the apple of Yah's eye, you must abandon everything that is about you. The things you've learned over the years that your grandmother and your mother and your aunt taught you, it wasn't the will of Almighty Yah. If it goes against Torah, it's not the will of Almighty Yah. So you cast those things down and you strive every day to do that which is pleasing before him. Hallelujah. Work with your children. Instruct them in righteousness. Make time every day for prayer. Cry out. Don't be ashamed. And let the tears flow, daughters. Let them flow as never before. For we're in a crucial hour. You may not think we are, but we are. We're in a crucial hour. But we, but we must see that prayer is much needed. And the only prayer that y'all is going to hear is the prayer of the righteous. Not the wicked, but the prayer of the righteous. For the prayer of the righteous availeth much. Hallelujah. So in order to be the apple of y'all's eye, you must cast out everything that's not like him in you. Study to be quiet. Work willingly with your hands. Hallelujah. And cease not to pray and to cry unto Almighty Yah. We told Yah for all that he's doing in this hour. I told Yah for the messenger of Almighty Yah. And the Zakim Benjamin spoke last night. Which kingdom are you going to? Your kingdom that you set apart? Were you going to make sure all your kinsmen get in there? Or the kingdom of Almighty Yah? I told Yah for that message that was taught on last night. It was a strength unto me. Hallelujah. And whenever you go into the bay, it always take the message personal. It is a personal message. It's especially for you. Y'all's looking down on you. He wants you to take every message personal that you may examine your own heart. Can I tell you, there's nothing I can't do in Yahshua HaMashiach. I don't care what you say or do. You won't cause me to fall in this walk. Because it's the hand of Almighty Yahweh that has saved me. And it keeps me. He keeps my mind. And he said, I'll keep those who keep their mind steadfast on me. So he keeps my mind. There's nothing I can't do in Yahshua. Nothing. So as you hear this truth, apply it to your heart. Meditate on Yah day and night. All during the day, you keep your mind on him. And he will keep you in perfect shalom. Hallelujah. So I'm going to try. This is a message that Rayak Dawi gave me to bring to the daughters of Zion that you be strengthened this day. Hallelujah. And he's going to give me more messages. We're going to strive every, at least once a week to come before you. So just be patient with me, daughters, because we do do much here. Not only do we do cooking and cleaning and working with our little, we teach in the school. Hallelujah. So there are many things that we do here. We're not lazy here, daughters. We have much. We do labor much here. And we're faithful, hallelujah, with the things that we do here. So just be patient with me. Be patient with me. And I'm going to try to get the message out. As Rayah gives it to me, I will give it to you. Because he's been busy also with the gardening and planting. And we're going to show you more things that we do here. We shall. Our children, uh, we have two young brothers here that help Ray out with the planting. So we're going to try to show you more of those things. Just be patient. Hallelujah. And we do give you our toad off for all things. Remember this. You want to be the apple of Yah's eye, but Yahweh must also be the apple of your eye. Shalom, shalom. I hope you enjoyed this teaching today. It's only to the daughters of of Zion. Shalom, shalom, and much ahava from the daughters of Zion at Teshuvah community. Shalom, shalom.